a lot was made of, of the Bears offensive line, you know, not being the strongest. Um, how have they held up uh, in the first couple of weeks? And does Justin Fields, I mean, he's a, he's a heck of an athlete. Does he help mitigate anything that's deficient with the offensive line, do you think? Jason Peters was brought in, 39-year-old left tackle, and he's talked about over the last couple of days that there's a difference for blocking for Andy Dalton versus blocking for Justin Fields. You you have a young quarterback who's still trying to process things, and the processing takes a little while longer, so maybe the ball doesn't come out as quickly. He's also mobile, so there are choices to be made on how long you have to hold a block for a player like Justin Fields because he's got the escapability, he's got the athleticism to get up and down the field. The offensive line overall has been a mess, and I, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Like The fact that Jason Peters was – on a boat fishing before they made the phone call to him and he's your starting left tackle is yeah. problematic. Like it, it's problematic. They had cut Charles Leno, who was a serviceable left tackle. Like if you were looking at where he was in the rankings, he was somewhere between 17 and 20. They didn't want to pay him. They thought that they had gotten everything solved by drafting two tackles. Both of those tackles were particularly right tackles and they were going to move Tevin Jenkins to left tackle. He hurt his back. He's already had back surgery. He's gone for a majority of the season. There was no one on the bears roster that had left tackle experience. And that's a terrible way to go into a football season. Jason Peters so far has been pretty good. The PFF grades on him at left tackle have, have been uh, him in the top 10. Although the, the sack fumble that Justin Fields gave up was all off of pressure that Jason Peters allowed. So when I start looking at this from the perspective of Cleveland and say there are two very angry men that patrol the end for, for Cleveland, I am concerned that they are going to be able, and Miles Garrett and Jadavion Clowney are going to be able to do some, some real damage to the Bears' offensive line that has been a bit of a patchwork through the first two games.